So for the people who are maybe totally new to us and to this understanding in general, just maybe just a little bit of help for them. In this moment, we're a little bit talking about the principle of thought, I guess. So just the idea that as human beings, we think. And from all the 7.6 billion other people on the planet, I don't think that we could find a single person who would disagree with us that people think. And thought happens to us. And we get a lot of thought energy coming our way all day long in waking hours and sleeping hours. Our personal computer mind is just thinking all the time. And maybe you too, whoever's listening out there, you can recognize you have, have thinking. You're not the thinking, but you have thinking. That's mm -hmm. happening to you as well, all day, every day. And sometimes we, we have this idea, it's like a little dialogue in our head. You know, that little voice that's talking to you, that's telling you things. Mm -hmm. And what Orit is pointing to, what she was pointing to as far as it's changing, it's just we get all kinds of thinking and all types of qualities, you know, just some neutral thinking that doesn't bring up a lot of feeling in us and sometimes some really serious thinking that arouses some serious feelings in us and some maybe prideful feelings that or thoughts that bring up some prideful feelings in us and whatever thoughts that are in our field of consciousness at the moment creates an experience that we can feel in yeah, it's also the illusion part i like to think about it as like uh we have the most um like a special effects department yeah. like the biggest budget in yeah. the world <laughs> yeah. everything it makes everything look so, so real and compelling <laughs> yeah absolutely mm -hmm. and that's the thing right and and what we're pointing to here in the, this conversation is to also as real as that thought might look and feel in the moment we have a chance to just let it be what it is which mm -hmm. is like an experience that's entered into our field of consciousness and there's nothing to be done about that experience there's no need to try to get rid of it or to try to keep it or anything else because we're getting a constant stream of new experiences all the time and they're nothing to be scared of or worried about they're not saying anything about us um, how well we're doing in the world how well we're not doing in the world and that's that's the freedom it's just the fact that we think yeah and what I really love is that we are so well equ equipped. Mm. We feel it. And if we feel crappy, anxious, stressed, we have stressful, crappy, anxious thinking going on. Conscious or unconscious, it doesn't matter at the end. Mm. And when I realized that this, I just could feel it and being aware and sometimes jump in it and do whatever I do with my thinking, but it started to appear as this alarm clock in a way, even mm. though we forget it and we, we don't know that it worked or we lose the trust that it always works the same way we kind of start to know oh i'm there again as you pointed for it i was lost and up in my head and i felt whatever i felt me too shelia too mm. all of us but this sensation changed i really start to 
Oh, oh, I feel. Hmm. Okay. I don't trust what's going on in my head, even though it feels really real and appealing. This, oh, you're my master, I have to trust you. That kind of softened. Yeah. With time in a way as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really big difference. Mm -hmm. It's like just knowing that it feels, that yeah, that it feels real, but you just know that it's not. Yes. <laughs> it makes a very big difference because it used to just, um, yeah, it's also, yeah. you just know that it's real, but it's not, yeah, you know that and it's not. So. at the beginning, do you guys remember that it really felt counterintuitive? Mm. It's, the, it's the complete opposite that to what we were used to do. Absolutely. All of us, I mean, we were used to jump in and analyze it to death. Yeah. And uh, it's this really counterintuitive thing to, for me, it felt like I really wanted to. Oh. Yeah. And it's exactly opposite to do. It's as if your brain tells you, you're only going to be okay when, yeah. when you work enough, when you're going to be in service, mm -hmm. when you volunteer, whatever, of course. Yeah. And luckily, I already know that it's not true. Yeah. <laughs> Even without that comment, because I think we already know it doesn't matter if all these things, let's say I would have kind of ticked them, you know. Mm -hmm. I'd be in service, I'd be, you know, having the business that I wanted, everything, you know, volunteering, everything, I would still have my ups and downs. I still have my inner climate that does whatever it does. There would still be things that would upset me. And so it doesn't matter. So it brings us back to the, oh, we already have everything that we need. It's just that I can't really feel it at the moment, but I know that it's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and even in times when I feel bad, I, I still have these really nice moments. Mm -hmm. While well, at the past, I would discard them. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just like focusing on, only on the bad ones. So, yeah, <laughs> it's really nice to know all these things. <laughs> it's, I, I hear this lightness in the human experience. Not that it's just light, but it's a lot lighter to just know it goes up and down. And, and you pointed to the, the next principle and it's grace, it's mind, it's, it's always there. It's this force behind everything yeah. that we are made of. And I really couldn't feel that before. I mean, it was happening when I was alive, <laughs> almost 40, two kids, career, whatever, but it was covered under these light layers of thought and personal experience and stories about my experience. And to start to see, as you pointed out this, and it's there, and you know it now, and you, even when you don't feel it, you know it. And you start to kind of watch yourself being alive and doing all these amazing things and sometimes having a beautiful experience and sometimes having a crappy experience. So what? 